Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today with the launch of Season 2 Reloaded in MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ, we got ourselves a brand new weapon, and it is the Tempest Torrent Marksman Rifle. Now, this thing is a new semi-auto gun, very similar to the other marksman rifles or battle rifles that we have in the game. Different in a few unique ways, but overall, nothing too, you know, out of the ordinary. It's a very standard semi-auto gun. Now, you can currently unlock this in a handful of different ways the initial base unlock challenge for this which is available for all players you can unlock it completely for free is to get 25 double kills while using a marksman rifle so any of the current marksman rifles in the game whether it's the ebr whether it's the tac m anything else in that category if you get 25 double kills with those you'll be able to unlock the tempest torrent and then you can go through and actually level that up the other way is to go into dmz either have a friend to drop you the tempest torrent and uh you know you extract with it that way or you kill another player who has a tempest torrent which is much more rare and difficult obviously and then you extract with that but if you extract with it in dmz you'll unlock it right away that obviously is also a really really easy way to go about it if you have a connect of someone who has the tempest torrent already unlocked right but today i wanted to go through and break down you know it's overall best class setups one for multiplayer one for warzone and talk a bit about whether or not it fits into the current meta so in terms of the multiplayer side of things for Modern Warfare 2, how exactly does the Tempest Torrent fit into the overall meta here? Well, frankly, I'd say it's probably one of the better marksman rifle options we have. A lot of them are like the sniper shotgun variants, like with the Sab 50 and whatnot. Um, we also have things like the EBR, like the TACM that are semi-auto, but a little bit more difficult in terms of their spam ability and their aggressiveness. They're still really good guns. And in fact, the EBR is what I was using to actually unlock the Tempest Torrent initially here, but they have the lower fire rates they are a little bit more unforgiving whereas the tempest torrent here still has that great damage it's like a two shot kill it can still one shot headshot as well because it has that basic marksman rifle property right but it's a lot more spammable it's a lot more aggressive than the other options in the category hence why i think it's probably a top choice now if you're someone who's looking for those consistent one shots then yes some of the sniper slash marksman rifle variants are still going to be really good but for a semi-auto gun here in terms of battle rifles versus marksman rifles and that general category and that sort of niche meta it absolutely is a top tier choice here for sure so let's break down this overall class setup initially here by the way there are some attachments behind the face cam so i'll be sure to read those i've got the cp90 rear grip this is going to be for better stability and better flinch resistance mainly the other grips are going to be based around movement maybe a little bit of control but they hurt your stability in certain ways this i want to go for all out accuracy obviously it is semi-auto so you want to be as accurate as possible whether it's close range medium range or long range so anytime we can work on the stability here in the general recoil that's going to be huge less sway means it's easier to stay on target it's easier to track and trace enemies you'll land your shots more consistently because of that behind the face cam here i've got the tthg 40 guard this is going to be again for better flinch resistance but also some better recoil steadiness and here you can again tune for the better recoil steadiness and some slightly better strafe steadiness as well so we're really focusing on that aspect of this for some of those medium to long range fights while you can use this really at any range depending on your level of comfortability with the gun and your ability to spam it fast up close right uh we really for mid to long range that's where it's going to thrive that's where we're focused Focusing on the most here I do go for the Chrono Mini Pro for multiplayer your basic blue dot if there is an optic that you like more than this as always be sure to use that but uh this one I tune for the furthest eye position slightly faster ADS per usual I do want to keep this somewhat aggressive though so I do actually use the Olay laser yes it's going to show when you ADS but you just got to be mindful you can't pre-aim certain corners in an obvious way and it's not really an issue there this though obviously helps with the ADS speed and the sprint to fire really the ADS speed is what we want to get out of this and that's why I tune for uh enhancing that even more but this just helps keep some aggression in this setup for some close to mid-range if you find yourself in those situations right and then lastly I do go for the edge 47 again for some general stability here it'll help out a lot with that and just make it again easier to shoot easier to spam easier to stay on target we are tuning for the better stability and stabilization there so overall in multiplayer this is not some crazy broken gun that's going to be absolutely insane but it is something that works really really well for the niche players who do like using a semi-auto gun and in terms of that specific sort of sub meta it is definitely a really good choice now, as we get into the war zone side of things, quick reminder, if you are new to the channel every single day, I got you covered with all things going on in COD between news, updates, class setups, loadouts, tips, you name it, it is all right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. And if you guys enjoy the video or if you find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. 
as well would be seriously appreciated uh but when it comes to warzone again for that niche meta category of semi-auto weapons this is going to be one of the better choices again because it is more aggressive than most of the other options right that said i don't feel like this is going to be a uh you know main option for medium to long range metas here especially when you have so many other fully auto guns that are much easier to use semi-auto guns like this are going to really thrive uh in that player base that can do well with them but outside of that it's not something that any given player can just pick up and fry with like a hemlock or like a 762 or a sacken or some of these easier weapons to use that said it still is going to be very powerful right it can kill very quickly when you're landing shots on target and you're super accurate so again that's what we're going to focus on with this setup primarily is medium to long range accuracy and ease of use so first up here i do go for the schlager 3.4 times for mid to long range fights which is what we're primarily getting here in warzone right now much more so than opposed to multiplayer this is a great optic for visibility and for consistency while trying to track and trace players so i love this option again though as always if there's one you like more always go for that furthest eye position faster ads on the tunes there i do use the outreach barrel this is going to be the only barrel option really if we go into these that's going to help out with your range and your velocity so uh the first one does it some but it also is a little bit more harsh it does have the built-in suppressor bear in mind so i uh, had something i want to talk about towards the end here but outreach to me is going to be the most consistent for long range fights and keeping up that faster ttk when you're landing shots because the uh stats there i go ahead and i tune for the better damage range and recoil steadiness Polar Fire S, I am using a suppressor in this case with this barrel in particular. Uh, this will help out a ton with that velocity and the damage range as well, which is huge and obviously the main uh, point of interest that we want to focus on for enhancing the stats here. Better velocity, slightly faster ADS speed on the tunes with this one. Once more, I am using the Edge 47 just like over in multiplayer. Basically the same stats here, going for the better stability and better stabilization. Then lastly, I do use the 30 round mag for Warzone specifically, just as that added safety net per usual, right? If you're running into a disadvantaged fight where you have less players in the enemy squad, having that extra ammo can save your life. That said, I feel like 20 is not the worst option there. So if you wanted to drop that, just use 20 and throw on, you know, high velocity. That's a good choice as well. You definitely have some options there. Now, I want to quickly again focus on this initial barrel because you can kind of get the best of all worlds if you're okay with the slightly shorter barrel in this case, again, with a little bit more cons. If you wanted to switch outreach for the chroma, it obviously would block your suppressor because it already has that built in. And then you could run the chroma barrel and high velocity and the 30 round mags all at once so that's something to consider as well i'd recommend trying out both classes this is the one that personally when i was playing around with it i enjoyed more but neither is a bad choice by any means so yeah that being said that is the brand new tempest torrent rifle here in mw2 and warzone 2 that's gonna wrap things up for the video if you guys enjoyed let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications that way you can always guarantee you're up to date with all things going on in cod but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.